Welcome, Ultimate fans, to the Color of Ultimate Showcase game from Los Angeles Throwback. Keith Rainer joined by Lindsay Sue for this matchup between Team Simone Manuel and Team Simone Biles. Lindsay, are you excited for this Color of Ultimate Beach version? I am extremely excited. The first Color of Ultimate game was really intense and really tight, and so I'm really excited to see how this game goes. Tremendous group of players and a tremendous group of sponsors and supporters to help put this event together, including USA Ultimate. USA Ultimate is proud to sponsor the Color of Ultimate LA Throwback as part of their ongoing equity, diversity, and inclusion initiatives. They're excited to support efforts like this that help spread the joy of Ultimate and new and diverse communities and engage more people of color in our sport. There's nothing we can't achieve when we pull together. Long live Ultimate. Also sponsored by the AUDL. The AUDL is proud to support the Color of Ultimate and the important mission of bringing awareness about socioeconomic and racial inequity to the sport of Ultimate. Now, Team Simone Biles and Manuel, we'll, we'll just shorten to the last name here. Uh, Manuel in the orange, getting ready to receive from Biles in the uh, neon green, I guess you could say. Yeah, I'd uh, say that. Showcase matchup, but just finishing off Saturday with the sun setting in the background and got five on five beach matchup tier. So going to get a chance to see a lot of different players adapting to the beach environment. Uh, what's it like playing on the on the beach, Sue? Uh, the beach is a whole different animal than the, gra the grass. Uh, obviously, you have five on five, which can be really fun um, to give you uh, different types of spaces. Um, but obviously, the beach is a little windier and, you know, it's harder to run in that sand. You don't get quite as much traction. So it makes it for a different challenge. Challenge causing a turnover there on that swing throw from Mark Rawls. Jakeem Polk. Starts things off with the throw to Sadie Chizersky. And now Shani Crawford to the end zone. And Abby Chang brings in the first goal of this one. A break for Team Simone. Chang on the receiving end of that one. Yeah, it makes sense to have a few miscues when you're first starting. Uh, you know, it's it's early and uh, most of these players are used to grass. So, um, you know, even though they might have been playing earlier today, uh, there's still some kinks to work out here and you can tell by that first turnover. Chang, a top player in D3 Ultimate and U24 player out of Oberlin and striking first for Team Biles. You see the crowd that's gathered to watch this game. The color of Ultimate Phenomenon, I think, is, has really gotten people excited uh, certainly the, the pair of us, but beyond us, I, I think that fans really are intrigued about seeing these players and getting to know them. I definitely think that's true, and the fact that it's on the beach is also really fun. It makes for good spectating as well um, as seeing some really great players showcased. Another turnover for Team Manuel. So they're working the other way now. Is in the hands of Felicia Yang. Yang with a forehand rocket to the end zone, but well beyond the reach of her receiver, looking a little harried. Nice defensive work from Manuel. Solid defense from Biles on the other end. Brody able to pressure that and make sure that Charles couldn't get a shot at making some crazy play on the sideline. However, it's back in the hands of Gabe Hernandez, one of the captains of Team Manuel. Lauren Lee with the incisive forehand. Leah Sinajini with a backhand huck that's intercepted, but quickly given back despite the efforts of Brody. So Sinajini back with the disc, and this happens at Beach. Turnovers can come quick on this small field. And another long throw from Hernandez in the layout catch by Lauren Lee. Two hands for safety as she comes down with that one in the sand. I'm sure that was relieving for Team Manuel. Uh, the, yeah, like you said, the, these points can feel really long and tiring, um, and they happen really fast. So, being, uh, and which is why some of those turnovers will happen because people get a little overexcited, maybe thinking that people can run faster than they would uh, or, you know, 
thinking it like they're playing on the grass and uh but they're fortunately able to get that uh hold there which is going to keep them in this game early another former d3 player lauren lee out of georgia college so d3 making their presence felt here at this color of ultimate matchup and another one of our color of ultimate sponsors is aria discs aria disc believes in changing the world through ultimate and changing ultimate through the power of the ultimate community since 2017 we have worked with teams at every level of the sport and through our one for one program have donated thousands of discs to organizations moving ultimate forward in places it can have the most impact thank you for your support certainly we're thankful to aria and all of the sponsors who help put this together devin cox high release backhand huck Catches a lot of air. There's a pack underneath it, but Ben Fang, the intended target, comes down with it. Maybe all as they planned it. And then Fang in the back of the end zone for the goal. So, uh, not the traditional way to get to the end zone, Lindsay, but uh, what any path there works. Absolutely. You know, a goal's a goal. Uh, it was a bit of a wild throw. He had a, had a lot of height on that. I think maybe a bit more than he intended, but fortunately we got great receivers in Ben Fang and they're able to really put that hold away quickly. Fang with a high activity level, just getting the disc, getting rid of it quickly and taking off. And that worked to great effect as he scores over Jesse Bolton to make it two to one. And I imagine as this game goes on, as uh, players start to get used to playing with each other and feel out the game and uh, if, this, if it's close, I think you're really going to see the intensity intensity ratchet up as Jakeem Polk pulls for Team Biles. Looks like a little pull play from Team Manuel and a nice layout grab. Cynthia Thomas comes down with that and immediately sends it to the end zone. Byron Liu takes that over the cutter. Now it's Team Biles going the other direction, and Sadie Jazerski unleashes a hammer. Second time the teams look deep for Jasmine Childress, but stone it beyond her reach. But I, I think we'll take uh, Sadie Jazerski throwing hammers pretty much all game. Yeah, that seems pretty likely. Uh, like you said, the intensity is probably going to ratchet up as we go along. Players love playing in the sand. It makes for really great opportunities for layouts. You know, you got to love that soft surface. Nice catch. Zubair Abdullah catches the forehand from Nguyen and then the little dish to Thomas for the goal. And Manuel holds to bring it back to even. They still trail by a break, but it is 2-2 two to two in this one. That was a great D by Byron Liu there. Uh, he dropped off from the receiver just outside the end zone, but, uh, you know, wasn't quite enough. It's tough in, in the sand. You don't need a whole lot of... Uh, separation in order to get open and um, uh, Zubair was able to uh, just dish it for the goal. Lou, no, no stranger to playing great defense. I mean, this is a guy who's died in the wool D-line player. But not enough here. Gets turned around by Thomas and she takes the shortcut for the goal. And I, we're seeing a lot of deep shots on this small field. Players of this caliber, you mentioned it, it doesn't take much to get separation. And throwers are going to want to put it. I mean, it's going to feel like almost the whole field is within range. So I think you're going to continue to see throwers stay aggressive. And that's uh, that's more fun for us. Get your, get your popcorn ready. <laughs> Absolutely. We love, we love stretching out that field. A stoppage in play. Looks like there may have been a pick call. Jason Valley with the disc. He checks in and immediately throws a backhand to space and Ben Fang finds the end zone again. That was just a beautiful throw um, over to Fang. A uh, nice IO edge on that backhand. Not too zippy, just perfectly out in, into space on a platter for Ben Fang there for the hold. What a great feeling as a receiver. You love the you love the platter when you can just kind of like open your arms and guide it in. 
for a perfect catch. Uh, you, you always want to be able to make your teammates look good, and uh, a throw like that make, makes your receivers look good. Oh, absolutely. And he was able to milk it a little bit there for the celebration, which never hurts. Fang's uh, brother is, is one of the organizers here for Color of Ultimate, so great for him to be able to get included. Uh, after, after the last Color of Ultimate showcase in Atlanta took place, Fang was one of the first people I talked to who was like, I got to get in on the next one. So uh, he has made it happen and has been a big impact in this start of this game. Completed all five of his throws and already has a pair of goals. Knee win underneath, but a high backhand. Misses the target. And now Zerski to Byron Liu. Devin Cox with the disc in the middle of the field as things slow down a little bit. Childress back to Cox. Now up the middle for Jazerski. And I think you can see a very different game taking place as Jazerski's swing misses than what we may have seen from some of the other beach action. If, you, if you've seen four on four, uh, five on five seems like it adds a bit more structure, less free flowing as teams are, look at they're getting a little more set. Yeah, one person really can make a difference for spacing. Uh, it, there's definitely a little bit less room to just kind of uh, run out into space and have the good throwers like throw you throw you to the end zone um although that looks like that is what just happened um so they have to be a little more disciplined for making space for each other when in 5v5 and you can you mentioned earlier in this game Lindsay, how the, the sand is deceptively tiring i mean these points when they get into two three possessions you can see that cutters are getting tired and here uh, just a throw to space to Amel Awada Karim from Ni Win. Just catches the defender out of position, and there's no catching up now. So uh, I'm sure everybody's happy to get some fresh legs on the field. So 3-3 three to three now between Manuel and Biles. The two Simones, the swimmer, and the gymnast. Uh, not sports I guess I traditionally associate with ultimate. But both sports that you could perform on a beach, most likely. Fair. Very, very true. Uh, gymnastics on a beach could be tough, but if, if anywhere in California, right, where they have these uh, gyms all around the beach, right? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. I was more thinking that, you know, if you messed up on your backflip, it wouldn't hurt so bad when you landed. Uh, I, any backflip I do is messed up, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm happy to have have some extra padding underneath if uh, if I were to ever attempt such a feat. Fang marching the disc to the brick mark to be met by Remy Ojo. And initiating to Sidney Harrison, a quick block. Leah Sinagini on the defensive end for that one. And now Gabe Hernandez starts things off. We've seen a lot of players hitting the sand. That's what it's there for. And then a great continue throw from Georgia C. Hits Gabe Hernandez, and the captain gets in the end zone, and Manuel's back in the lead, 4-3. That was a really incredible uh, bid by Leah Sinogeni. Um, like you said, it happened very quickly. We had said before, you don't need a whole lot of separation uh, to get open and beach, but... You know, when you've got athletic players like that, you really have to be careful. And I think uh, Team Manuel did a really good job of uh, quickly converting and not taking too long on that point. And if we talked about the intensity getting pushed up. I mean, those kind of blocks are gonna gonna make teams feel a little bit more competitive. You see your teammate make a block like that, and you want to score. Hernandez staying out for this one. So back on serve. Cox fields the pull and sends it up to Valley. Looks like there may have been another pick call. Chang discussing. Checked in with the wall Kareem on the mark. Go, 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 
Valley straight up the line. And Jazerski going cross field. The blade pops up and maybe a little bit of a curveball there. Catches Hernandez off guard. He salutes Cox, who goes over the top for the score. Oh, Gabe Hernandez is an incredible player. I really was pretty sure he was going to come up with that D, but Cox was able to just cookie jar him and make sure he came down with that. Uh, another area in which I think that the sand can deceive it. It can be a little hard to get off the ground and, and time your jump exactly how you would on the grass. And certainly these players, as experienced as they are, uh, probably just have a lot of that muscle memory that says go up now. And uh, a little early there for Hernandez uh, against, a, uh, admittedly, a taller, a taller player in Cox. Ryu with the pull for Team Biles. Sinogini initiates out to Max Charles. Charles coming off a mixed club championship with Philadelphia Amp. And that just coming off of the defense, a block in the reset space. Now Nathan Brody up to Yang in space and quick flip to Childress. And just like that, Biles responds and retakes the lead. Yeah, the Biles defender there was able to take advantage of this kind of uh, small space and just able to get a quick, almost point block off of that in the dump space, which was really incredible. Yeah, after a near miss of, on the layout on the in cut. But again, like we were talking with that quick movement was really helping with uh, these teams to be able to capitalize on their breaks. Pyre Lou with a, with a pretty remarkable reflex block. I mean, that's maybe the kind of thing that you just swipe at and hope that you get. I, I think as a thrower, you're, you're thinking there's no way this guy not facing me is going to get this block right now uh, at this range. But Lou able to make the play and get another block in this game. He'll take a rest. Watch his teammates try and get another turnover. Hernandez resetting to Awadah Karim. Lee curling around to the open side. And it looks like they found a little bit of a rhythm and the defense has no answer as Hernandez goes to the break side for Cynthia Thomas for her second goal. And the Tucson area player Finds the end zone again. Yeah, you can never abandon the break side too much here. Oh, actually, it looks like there might have been a miscommunication there on the force because uh, Jazerski left um, Cynthia Thomas uh, all by herself over there. But got to stay tight in these situations when you've got great throwers. It's it's demanding, and and it can be really tough to change direction in the in the sand. So. Uh, Sometimes it, once they get open, you're kind of like, Am I, should I even get over there? Can I get over there? Uh, especially when you're dealing with throwers like these. Bolton with a towering pull. Great hang time on that. Absolutely. Let's, let's the defense get set, but quickly Team Biles advances out of what should have been great field position or, or sand position. I don't even know what, you, what you'd call it here. Yang pump fakes and then goes up the line for the layout catch by A.J. Beard. Nice play by Beard to finish that off and a nice point from Team Biles. Not intimidated by being pinned in the end zone by that Bolton pull. Yeah, that was... Really unfortunate for the defense there that they weren't able to capitalize on that that great defensive positioning. But, you know, uh, Team Biles just kind of sent it straight up the line there, and their didn't, Team Manuel didn't have much of an answer for them. And a really nice uh, catch in the end zone there. Uh, had to go up, up to the toes in the sand is a bit difficult, uh, but she came down with it. Uh, absolutely, a, t a tough catch by Beard. And, uh any any later and that's going over her head 
and not a lot of time to react to it, but makes the play. Yang doing a nice job with that fake to make sure that the Mark's not going to be able to jump over to stop that throw, but uh, then the throw came out a little hot, but got a good receiver. It's all good. So another nice pull. This one's going to put Team Manuel in an even worse position. They'll take the one throw approach to get out of it. Max Charles trying to chase it down, and he does on the second effort. Uh, maybe it's the first effort, I don't know. But Charles fakes out Lou and then makes the diving catch. Spectacular play for Max Charles and Team Manuel to tie it up. That was uh, absolutely incredible catch. Uh, you know, we were just talking about Byron Lou is a great defender. I felt pretty confident that he was going to be there well enough to stop that catch from happening but like you said it wasn't exactly a second effort but he was able to get it on the trailing edge um, in an unexpected way I mean that in most ways that is great defense I mean that's a turnover in most cases <laughs> but uh, a, just a, a wonderful play on the back end gets off his feet quickly and saves that one before it gets away and turns what could have been a, a turnover into a goal instead, and, and certainly a, an energy play for Team Manuel. Crowd's really building there, <laughs> enjoying the music. Uh, what looks like this is going to be the point for half. Received by Fenn. Up ahead to Polk. Quick, quick round. Gets to Chang, and she'll continue it straight up the line, but... A lot of Kareem able to get a hand on that, knock it away. Gets her first block. Player from San Francisco Fury, and now she's sending a forehand to the opposite end. Hernandez trying to make a play on it, but pressured by Fang. The crowd's been loving it. Maybe maybe they don't love that necessarily, but game's in their lap. <laughs> yeah, it's. A great atmosphere to be watching, but uh, not so great when yeah, the players land on you when they're trying to make plays. Look, people pay so much money to sit courtside. So I think it's a lot more affordable to get that experience here. Fang cross field. What a shot from Ben Fang to Sadie Jazerski. But sending it back, it was just too good. Too good to be true. <laughs> I can't. Uh, does the crowd love it? I, I would never expect the crowd to love a, a travel call, but they're they're getting into the hand motion. Yeah, it looks like he might have taken an extra step there, and Hernandez definitely, although he was a bit behind and wouldn't have much of a play on it otherwise, uh, seems like a, a the right call. Almost looked like he might have lost his footing, and so he needed a couple extra steps to regain his balance, but. Still in the hands of Biles. The hammer from Polk over to Fang. And the result is a turnover this time. A good look at it, but trails away from Chang. Her bid comes up just short. Hernandez eyeing the disc as he picks it up. Waddle Kareem again going to the forehand, looking deep, and you can, it's a beautiful throw. You can see why she likes to utilize it, but just miscalibrated on that one. This is another long point, the first in a while, and I think people are getting a little bit antsy to finish the point. There's some nice bids here. Obviously, a lot of effort going in on both sides, but haven't quite been able to put it away. Polk with the casual flip out to Harris. Back to Polk. And it seems like maybe Team Biles a little less organized downfield, but comfortable taking a shot. Is this one going to come back in? It does! With the help of Jakeem Polk towing the line, that disc does find its way back to the field. Abby Chang celebrates a well-deserved plaudits from her teammates for that one. That was really incredible 
no one except for Polk thought that that was coming back in, but it was really <laughs> an athletic play uh, to toe the line there. Polk, who had been mostly in the handler space for mo the most of that point, uh, running downfield and able to make the play. Well, former former college football player, I'd say Jakeem Polk's pretty well known for his athleticism, and Chang loves it. Uh, I don't know who to give more credit for credit to, but. Uh, the end result, we'll, we'll just be happy that uh, we got such a great play here from the color of ultimate. Players discussing actually whether what, what's what's going to be happening next. Maybe they're not going to take half. Uh, they're just as uh, look as unsure as we are. Looks like we're getting some extra ultimate. I'm not mad about it. No, never, never mad about an extra point. Valley with the pull. Now begins in the hands of Abdullah and Ojo gets it over to Thomas. Back to Simajini. Now to the end zone, but Cox is the first one there. And he's gonna look the other way. Gonna get it all in one throw. Ojo and Chase. And he's able to make sure that Yang doesn't get a bid at that one. Tough to squeeze that flick all the way up the field on that sideline. Yeah, especially to get enough touch on it so that your wide open offender has time to run down on it. Yeah, you can give the offense a chance to do something like that. Thomas throwing back towards the middle and rewarded with a clap catch layout by Mi Win. That was a really athletic grab by Ni Win. She's a great player. She's really fun to watch. Uh, player out of um, Colorado. Uh, just really gets full extension there and able to reel that throw in, I'm sure. She wanted to make sure she could reward her thrower with this goal there. Ni wins one of the few players I would say maybe feels most comfortable laying out compared to all the other things she could be doing on the field. Absolutely, she makes it look really effortless and it's very fun to watch. So this point will be the one that takes us to half Pull drops in just on the back line. Fang looking across field, but his throw too tall. Teams had trouble targeting Childress this game. She's so fast on grass that I think they have trouble understanding that she might be a little bit slower than normal in the sand. So a timeout for Team Manuel as they gather their heads together with the hope to take half after giving up the initial break. We'll be back in just a moment. Team Manuel hoping to take the half here. This game is presented by the Atlanta Soul, one of the founding teams of the Premier Ultimate League. We're proud to support the initiatives of AFDC Project Diversity and Color of Ultimate. Check out AtlantaSoulUltimate.com for more details about their schedule and how to support them this season. We hope to see you at the games. While Kareem checks in. Contested catch by Hernandez. A lot of cutting out of the stack in there. A nice flip from Say, but sent back. That chaos may be creating some 
illegality downfield. That was really great breakside movement. They were able to move it. The disc really quickly made it hard for people to catch up. Maybe too hard, uh, illegally, like you said. But uh, we like the idea. Love, love the flip from Say. Get does a great job getting from her forehand to backhand quickly. Uses that backhand again to go to Owato Kareem, and she puts it into the end zone for the score out of the timeout. Claudia Vasquez secures that one to make it 8-7, Team Manuel. An awesome first half here in Los Angeles. Plenty of highlights. The players are feeling it. We're enjoying it. The crowd's loving it. Going to have a lot more great ultimate in store in the second half of this one. Team Manuel up 8-7. See you in the second half. What does it mean to be powered by Savage? It means we become part of your team. From the moment you're paired with one of our sales reps who will guide you through the ordering process, to working with a designated member of our design team to bring your vision to life. Every step of the production process happens in-house, from printing your gear on our green line fabric made from 100% recycled plastic bottles, to cutting out every piece and carefully stitching it together by hand. Wherever you are, However you play, we've got your back. That's what it means to be powered by Savage. Halftime in Los Angeles. This Color of Ultimate broadcast is presented to you by the Atlanta Soul, Spin Ultimate, USA Ultimate, the AUDL, Aria Discs, Savage Ultimate, and the AFDC Project Diversity. Second half action coming up next. Welcome back, Ultimate fans, for the second half of the Color of Ultimate LA Throwback Showcase game. We'd like to thank Savage Apparel Company for partnering with the Color of Ultimate. Savage offers custom team uniforms made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Head over to SavageUltimate.com to start your team order today. Savage, the Ultimate Apparel Company. Team Manuel with the 8-7 lead on Team Biles. Let's listen in to the huddles to see what we've got coming up in the second half. Okay, let's play what we played before when we were playing other people. Like, trust each other, trust throws, trust each other with our cuts. I think we're getting foggy, keeping those lanes clogged, and then we're kind of stuck. So let's really try to work on that, and that's coming from everyone. It's just a team thing, and we're going to get it, and that was the first half. Like, this, we wanted a good game, and we made it a good game. So now let's start. Now for real. Yeah, let's start. Now for real. Hey. Yeah. Let's go. 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 let us go take what they give us, right? They're switching the force on us, and we don't panic. We just hit the open people. Along with that, crush. when we're trying to hit like away shots, we don't need to try to like zip it, or just make sure you put the right shape, put it in the right space, and we'll make plays, right? Yeah. Nice and chill. One yeah. more half, let's do it. Yeah! yeah. We got this. Um, just keep three. swimming. Yeah, just keep swimming on three. One, two, three. Just, just keep swimming! swimming. Well, Keith Rayner joined by Lindsay Sue. And Lindsay, we solved the mystery of the color officially. I'm going with lime. I think it's very appropriate. Uh, but in all seriousness, this color of ultimate production is brought to you by Spin Ultimate. Spin Ultimate, providing custom team uniforms and ultimate apparel since 2007. Visit Spin on the web at spinultimate.com. The 
pull coming up from Bolden. It's also nice pulling from Bolden. But this one out of bounds. Seems like there's some <laughs> some fear from the sidelines of getting hit with a pull or a bidding player. The potential threats, all. Uh, Bolden throws, throws a high pull. Probably comes in with a bit of pace. Made, made for players, not for fans. But this game for is for both. As a quick throw to the end zone, and they find Childress. They've been trying to get that connection going all night. And she gets into the end zone to tie it up at eight. Yeah, that was. It looks like they really took to heart what uh, uh, Sadie Jazerski was saying in the huddle that they needed to make space for each other. They weren't getting too crowded there, and it opened up a nice lane for Childress to just run it down in the end zone. Childress, a part of the UC Santa Barbara Burning Skirts. Real up and coming player, great athlete, tremendous defender, and uh, certainly a goal scorer. Has it on display. Jazerski getting ready for the pull. And Jazerski gave a pretty fiery halftime speech, you know? It sounds like uh, like she's out here to win this thing. Yeah, I think people are taking this pretty seriously. Uh, getting fired up and there's a lot of intensity and I think it is only going to continue. It's been a very exciting game so far, you know. It's been back and forth, a few breaks here and there, but stayed really tight. I don't know if there's been more than a one-point difference throughout. Uh, so I imagine that it will continue to be just as intense throughout the rest of the game. Another trend continuing from the first half, the difficulty on connecting on deep shots. I and mean, this is a tough one coming back from the pivot from Charles. But, uh, you know, we, when you hear those teams talking at half, I mean, they're talking about strategy, how to play better, not saying like, hey, let's go goof off and, and throw some crazy stuff. They both seem like they're hoping to come out on top in this matchup, and it, it's up for grabs right now. Beard makes the grab and then continues on to Jazerski. Her throw to space is a little too far for a bidding Cox. Just out the back of the end zone. I think even if he had caught up to that, he would have been out of bounds. They seemed pretty excited about getting uh, dusted with sand there from that bid. Uh, unfortunate that they <laughs> weren't able to get the... Uh, Impressive picture there with the catch, but still exciting nonetheless. Abdullah sending a forehand it deep into the other end zone from the front of his own with just a quick flip of the wrist there. Both teams maybe getting a little overexcited and uh, <laughs> wanted to throw lots of huck turns here, but hopefully they'll be able to clean it up. With the, with the whole field within range, it, it's always so tempting to take that shot. Zazerski, a, a well-known shot taker, but thinks better of it. Swings it over to Brody. Lauren Woods resets back to Zazerski and seems like Team Biles has slowed things down. Brody gets off his feet for a really difficult layout catch. Beard into the end zone, basically in the same spot Jazerski had just thrown Cox, but it stays in bounds on a very similar play. Jazerski comes down with it with the layout grab and gets a congratulations from Sinajini and Abby Chang. Yeah, that throw had just a little bit more touch on it, made it easier to run down, although still a very difficult catch and uh, allowed Jazerski to be able to you know, toe the line and keep that in and finish that quite long point. Acrobatic play from Jazirski. Known for her throwing ability, but has the athleticism. It looks like she might have not needed quite as much of it to make that play from a toe dragon standpoint, but certainly needed the extension to catch up to it. Full fielded by Rawls up ahead to Hernandez. Lee 
to Thomas. Short passes for Manuel. They're all pretty crowded. A nice layout grab by Rawls. We're seeing players make athletic plays, and that's exactly what Hernandez said his team could do. And Cynthia Thomas puts an exclamation point on that statement with her third goal and the best one yet. It was just bid after bid after bid on that point. Rawls and Thomas both being very athletic there. And, you know, I don't know if that's a, the best sign for uh, our, how accurate the throws are at this moment, but it is a great sign, like we were saying, with the intensity. People really want to win this game, which it makes for an exciting viewing experience for sure. I, I love the energy from Thomas just taking off as soon as she gets rid of the disc. That, that, that motor, that activity level uh, is a wonderful thing to have on the field. Fang takes the centering pass and then quickly sends it over to Crawford and a pick call stops play. Crawford, a key component in helping organize these colored ultimate events is Valley puts up a forehand again looking for Jazerski and she jumps that in just past a bidding of Awad, Awad Karim. Not quite in, but an easy continue to finish it off. So instead of a goal, Jazerski gets an assist, but great defense from Awad Karim, even better offense from Sadie Jazerski. I love that these teams are still looking to stretch the field no matter what, no matter how many, how difficult it has been to connect throughout. They're really continuing to work on their chemistry and making it exciting for the fans. That was quite the jump in. Uh, it, she was very close to being in, but was able to close out the play very quickly. I'm pretty sure she was, she was trying to jump it in and, and not just needing to attack the disc. A tough spot to go for the jump in with a, a defender pressing down on you like that, but uh, Jazerski able to make the play. No guts, no glory, Keith. That's right, and plenty of guts on display and, and lots of glory up for grabs. Piles with the 10-9 lead as we come down the home stretch. And quick disc movement for Manuel gets them to the end zone in a hurry a lot of pace on that possession from Manuel Thomas gets another goal she continues to pile them up both teams are looking smooth now that they got that first long point out of the way they've been using some pull plays they've done a good job of isolating space and allowing for athletic displays to get their goals yeah, Lauren, Lauren Woods is a is a tough customer when it comes to taking off in the deep space. Thomas able to get just enough room. A nice throw from Nee Win to get on the opposite side and give Thomas the advantage or at least allow her to hold on to it. She holds on for another goal. So tied up now as Mark Rawls gets ready for the pull. keep this one inbound so Crawford will get to begin with possession at the break mark there have been surprisingly few out of bounds pulls for how bold they've been trying to make them uh, the wind isn't too too much of a factor here which I think is making making for more accurate pulls Yang again going to that laser forehand and Polk snatches it out of the air for another goal. So quick strike, like you said, Lindsay, these offenses are in rhythm and Team Biles takes an 11-10 lead. Yeah, that was a bit of a zippy throw, but Polk shows off his, his athleticism and his intelligence in the air, knowing when to go up to make that catch happen and also landing in the end zone, make it easier for his team. Polka player whose reputation came from his performance in the AUDL. The AUDL is one of the sponsors of this Color of Ultimate Showcase game. The AUDL is proud to support the Color of Ultimate and the important mission of bringing awareness about socioeconomic and racial inequity 
in the sport of ultimate. Jazirski, another ambitious pull and just out of bounds. It's a tough, tough game pulling because high reward, but it's, it's a binary result, right? It's either in or it's out. And uh, it, all it takes is that extra inch to ruin what looked like a great pull. Session begins with Sinajini over to Abdullah. Bid from Childress against Awaro Kareem. Comes up short. Layout grab from Hernandez. You can see these extending shadows in the setting sun. And another smooth offensive possession between the two teams. 11-11, we are back to even on that goal for Awadu Kareem from Sinajini. Action is everywhere in this one. It is a tight game. Two teams that want to win. 11-11, final points coming up soon. Party is rocking in Los Angeles at throwback for this Color of Ultimate Showcase game. All tied up between Team Biles and Team Manuel. Bolden with the pull, undeterred by any earlier mistakes. Fan gets things underway. And another shot up the forehand sideline. It's time from Jason Valley, but Yang not able to catch up to it. They're really moving the disc quickly there, uh, which they have been for the past couple points, but this time didn't quite work out for them, so we'll see how they can hang with this uh, defensive possession. Lee gets the disc up ahead to Vasquez, and now into the hands of Hernandez. flips it around and now throw to space from Bolton but beyond the reach of Lauren Lee. I love that look. She was uh, she cleared out space for Bolton to come back for the dump but and then strike deep but wasn't quite able to come down with it. If 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 you're in this situation Lindsay where where the opponent is taking a lot of shots but not always completing them are are you trying to sit on the deep throw or let them keep forcing? I mean, I, I would say let them keep forcing it, especially on points like this where it's you're just getting more and more tired. Let them take those dangerous shots and give your team a chance to uh, make some maybe smarter decisions down the line for how tired your team might be. Just a narrow miss on the bid from Yang. But neither team is looking to slow down as this one goes to the end zone for Hernandez, Lauren Lee connects with Gabe Hernandez for Team Manuel to take the lead. Hernandez, two goals and two assists. Not a turnover yet, despite being one of the most central offensive players for his team. Great effort from Yang to try and chase after that. Similar effort applied by her teammate Crawford but not going to stop the score for Team Manuel. Team Manuel maybe heard my advice and decided that they were able to make those deep completions regardless, and it worked out for them. Yang, a 
the commissioner of the Western Ultimate League, Crawford, a key component for the Atlanta Soul organization. And Atlanta Soul are one of the sponsors of this Color of Ultimate matchup. Atlanta Soul, one of the founding teams of the Premier Ultimate League, is proud to support initiatives by AFDC, Project Diversity, and Color of Ultimate. Check out AtlantaSoulUltimate.com for more details about their schedule and how to support them this season. They hope to see you at the games. Polk forced to reset back to Byron Liu. So the defense now from Team Manuel stepping up and, and forcing a longer possession out of Team Biles, keeping them off of that deep throw. A contact downfield between Polk and Ojo will stop play. Yeah, it looks like Team Biles was uh, getting a little bit squished into one half of the field there. They probably would want to take a little bit more width to create space like they were doing earlier in this half, uh, which might give them some more room to make space downfield. Great job finding the space by Warren Woods and Byron Liu. Liu with the high release backhand and Woods Two attempts, comes down with the catch. Number 22, takes two catches, gets the goal. Again, a catch is a catch, so can't complain too much about that if you have receivers who can bring it in, regardless how many times it takes. Absolutely. Excellent focus from Woods to secure that one, even past the pressure from Awadah Kareem. Ties us back up at 12-12. Doesn't look like anybody's going to get much separation here. This one has been close throughout. Send Ginny back to a wall of Kareem. Charles streaking across gets open, but a stoppage in play is going to put a halt to the offense as well. Charles finds the same space. Nice cross field break, opens things up for Team Manuel. But the continued throw from Owalo Kareem leaves something to be desired, and now a chance for Biles to get back into the lead. Team Manuel has been doing a lot of working through those you know, inside break looks, but some of those around break looks have been a little bit tough. They haven't quite been able to maintain that edge perfectly uh, to stay in bounds and it showed there but we'll see how team uh, Simone Biles is able to convert on this break Things slowing down I think as both teams are, are a little wary to give up the disc now Cox catches it with a bid from Hernandez flying by tries to float one of the end zone as the stall count climbs Just not quite able to shape that throw to curl back towards win. It's tough when you've got a bidding Devin Cox tailing your throw. Have to try to get it out a little bit farther out in space, but didn't quite come back. This throw has the reverse shape tailing away, but this time Wynn's able to catch up to it. Gain a lot of yardage. He goes cross field back for a Waddle Kareem. And then Cox bids again on the Wall of Green's throw to win. This time, they connect. So Team Manuel gets the goal. After all that, a lot of work to get win in the end zone for her second catch of that sort. 13-12. When and Awad al Kareem just going every other there on that possession. It was beautiful to watch. Uh, they were former teammates for... Uh, the U24 cycle in 2018, and clearly they have some chemistry still out here on the beach. Usually when you see someone go every other, it's short throws, not uh, huck and then cross field. Uh, but any way it comes, you, you, love to, you love to see them get creative out here. I was at the previous Color of Ultimate Showcase in Atlanta, and we were treated to an awesome game that went into overtime and had some really spectacular plays. And this game has pretty much lived up to the same billing. It's 
so awesome to see players who come from upper underrepresented backgrounds uh, showcased in this way and not all, showing that, that they can really put on a, an exciting event. Definitely putting on an exciting show and you know this isn't just for fun they're clearly bringing the intensity and the competition and lots and lots of skill and it's been a joy to watch so far. Another great bidding effort but out of bounds there. Not much Jizerski could do with that one. So Bolden will get to walk it up. And as, as someone who's been around Ultimate for almost 20 years now, a, a person of color, I, there were not a lot of players I saw who looked like me or looked like the few friends I had who had also played Ultimate as, as players of color. And it, it's really grown since then. And in part because of really intentional efforts like the ones involved in organizing this event. A lot of attention in that layout from Remy Ojo, Remy Ojo, but nice defensive pressure from Jizerski forces Ojo to have to make too tough a play to come up with the catch. It was a spectacular bid, and it looked like he got a hand on it, but wasn't quite able to close it, close it out. Safe, safe bid. Tried to go around the defender to make sure there wasn't any contact, and uh, just too good a positioning from Jizerski forcing Ojo into that wide play, but disc is given back. Let's see again, Jizerski kind of forcing Ojo to go after that trailing edge. That layout catch from Vasquez is a completion. I don't know if we I don't know if we've seen a two goal lead in this game yet. Right, it has been tight the whole game. This would be the largest lead of the game so far, and it would be tough to come back from this. And could that be the dagger, a hammer from Jesse Bolden that drops right into the waiting arms of Remy Ojo? They have yet to connect, I believe, and here uh, a stylish connection between the two to make it 14-12. That was a beautiful look, honestly. Here's the replay of that bid. Couldn't quite make it work. Again, great defense by Jazerski, but we'd love to get to see the hammer on that second possession. We haven't actually seen that many hammers this game, so it was nice to see one completion. That is a accurate throw, drops right in. I mean, that's textbook from Bolton. The Carlton Cup product puts Team Manuel up by two, keeps the crowd moving as we look at what could be the last point of this one. Rawls with the pull. Nice pull from Rawls and that's gonna put Team Biles near the front of their end zone to start. And not, not sure if Sinajini got a piece of that or if Crawford kind of just short-armed it, but a short field turnover from Biles that puts them in a really tough position. Hernandez cross field looking for Rawls and he tries to line up a bid, but it's beyond his reach. Can't even get off his feet for that one those throws are really tough. They're tough on grass and even tougher on the sand when you don't have quite the same legs to be able to catch up to that trailing edge. Crawford in the middle, cross to Chang. Cox steps around but denied by Hernandez and still finds room to go cross field for Polk. Great poise from Devin Cox with the disc to hit Jakeem Polk, who's, like you mentioned, spent a lot of time in the backfield, but still has come up with three goals. That was a really nice throw. I, it, it at first looked like it might just zip straight out of bounds, but it caught the wind a bit and just was on a platter for Polk. There it is from Cox. Really, It's so tough to go from 
backhand to forehand and, and let go a throw that you might have not been planning even moments ago, but springs open Jakeem Polk and gets a necessary hold for Team Biles, who trails by one. Wow, this is exciting. What do you think? Is it going to be universe, or are we going to have Team Manuel close it out right here? Oh, they, their offense has been so smooth, but given how the last color of Ultimate go, game went, I'm thinking we're going to get a break here. We'll find out if, if the defense can catch up to this. Abby Chang trying to get to Ni Win and gets maybe a fingertip on that one to give Team Biles another chance. Yeah, Abby Chang turns on the Jets there and is able to just get in the way enough. Not sure if she exactly got a hand on it or just put enough pressure in Ni Wen's space. Oh, yes, it looks like she did get her fingers on the under side of that disc and was able to push it right out of the hands of Ni Wen. That, that was cartoonish speed from Abby Chang. It was like the, the old, old t cartoons where the wheels are turning <laughs> instead of feet. That was incredible. I don't know how she just did that on the sand. But. Now she's got the disc. And she's looking to go the other way with a huck, but cannot keep it in bounds. So maybe she can come up with another huge block for her team. Yeah, Ni Wen was able to jump that throw and put enough pressure on it where it was had forced to be sailed out of bounds rather than go into the hands of Ni Wen. When resetting. Sasha Tangerlini to the end zone and Lauren Lee tracks it down. Lee had the awesome two-handed catch for the first goal for Team Manuel and gets another one, gets to stay on her feet for this one, Team Manuel, 15-13 over Team Biles. Really nice run there from Lee. Love to see that <laughs> bookended first point and last point. This was a really exciting game. Sad we didn't go to double game point because that's always fun, but I loved seeing all the intensity and just incredible athleticism and talent that was on display here from these players. Double game point would have been fun. It also would have made me right. There's there's not really anything better than that. But uh, really, though, this this was an awesome effort. I, I loved watching this game and getting to see these players. Thank you to the sponsors who helped make it happen. Spin Ultimate, the AUDL, USA Ultimate, Aria Discs, and the Atlanta Soul and the AFDC Project Diversity. And of course, the awesome athletes from the Color of Ultimate for Lindsay Sue, this is Keith Rayner signing off from LA Throwback and the Color of Ultimate. Thanks for joining us.